Hello everyone, Lord Aegeon here with another Grey Goo replay. Spotting the left side, we have the loser. Interesting, I wonder if he's predicting his own, uh, well, the outcast of this game. And spawn the. Spawn, why did I say outcast? Outcome. I was thinking, thinking for, forecast and outcome at the same time. Outcast. Uh, and spawning the top side, well, top left up here, was Vandal, playing as a goo faction. I would see here there's a, a large wave of units, probably, probably brought the head out, probably do some harassment, or at that, with that size force, it's more of a hit force than a harassment force. As you can see here, the human player is currently on one, two, three, four, five refinery. Well, soon be five, and the goo player is on six mother goo. So pretty much the economies are relatively even. Got a radiant scout coming out. Probably just going to leave in this bush. Probably should keep away from actually the. The extractor so it doesn't attack, so you remain hi hidden as long as possible and maintain all that useful information. Another scout here. What does he see? Yeah, he doesn't see much. He saw that uh, force there before. What does he. Is he thinking much about it? Nope, he is not. And it looks like this attacking force came back. And going to head straight towards the scout here. Unless he's going to break, bust open the rocks. Nicely pulling it back before it gets uh, taken out. Just curious what he sees. Doesn't see much right now. Looks like the human player is going to split his force into two, two separate, two separate uh, forces. So you can hit two Mother Goos at once. Which can be quite helpful. And it's pretty hard. A Goo player can needs to focus on one army versus the other. In case he gets attacked. So splitting up uh, his force can be pretty good. But you have to be careful not to lose one the force entirely. Or else you lose, well, basically half your army. So far, not a lot of aggression. Until this uh, mother goo gets spotted, I guess. He's preparing up a defensive force. Currently has uh, three small proteins, which is not enough. Building a large protein, getting some destructors, getting a bit of a more of a heavy armored force. But there is a good number of revolvers here, so it's not like the brightest, the best idea. Not brightest, but not the best idea. Perhaps he could have uh, done crescents instead and place them on top of these walls. We don't see any aircraft out anytime soon, so Crescents might have been a better choice. Looks like this is actually going to be a harassment force. The best way to push back your enemies is actually to attack them. Though he has plenty of force over here, so probably wouldn't make him withdraw this force. And this force just isn't big enough. He's going to walk in and see, oh crap, there's a, actually an army there. He should pull these back. Yeah, he's pulling back the Mother Goo. This Mother Goo should actually run up to the hill. I think he tried clicking it here, but there's water and he cannot cross the water. Taking out one extractor and... Well, the harvester is pretty much pointless because the extractor was taken out anyways. He's pulling back his Mother Goo's. He doesn't have a force to contend with this force. So he's just pulling back, keeping his his uh, mother goose safe. Looks like he's getting a lot of destructors. With this large number, it actually can do quite a bit of damage. But overall, there's still too large a force for him to engage. Perhaps uh, no, that I would say a flanking force from the bottom, but way out of position. Got another mother goo here. Trying to get up another three uh, segments, perhaps turn the crescent. Got some large, some more large proteins. Perhaps a bastion. This a bastion might do some good. 
Yeah, a bastion. He needs a bastion now. Or use the large proteins as offense. Wow, that force really got decimated. Price underestimated the strength of the destructors. A lot of large proteins, in fact. They actually do have six armor, which is actually that's actually a lot of armor. Got a attacking force here, or harassment force more likely. But it gets cleaned up nice and quick. It did take out the extractor, so it did delay some economy. Perhaps he just automatically retested up here. He still has one refinery not being utilized. Doesn't look like he's deploying it anywhere. So it looks like as long as he doesn't deploy it, that's still more damp more and more damage that small little force did. Oh, didn't see this gigantic force. Getting some daggers out. And he's taking out he took out a crescent, I think two crescents based on the explosion patterns. And it takes out Mother Goo. Looks like two more crescents way out of position. He needs to get these crescents. Looks like going to do a bit of force fire to ground. Imp nice. Doing massive damage to this army. Yeah, he just needs to run. He could do he's going to do another force fire. No, he did attack me. These Carson's going to be focused down quite readily. This fires off one more shot before dying. But overall, that's basically a stutter step. Did massive amount of damage, but it looks like he's going to still lose Mother Goo. No, just barely survived. And it's plenty of resources stockpiled up, so it will heal up. So there's a force here. I think there's a large protein that just got exploded. Just got exploded? I don't think that's proper terminology. These destructors are going to just die. Are going to die. Man, my English. It's brilliant. Destructile, projectile. Destructor, projectiles now also damage enemies around the target. Looks like he's. Huh. No bounce? Is there alternate to the bounce or did they change it? Was there some sort of recent patch? I could have sworn. It's not the bounce upgrade. I don't think it's a bounce upgrade. Man, I really need to learn my technology. Looks like, uh, getting more and more crescents. Two more crescents here. They have nice positioning. A nice hit here, damaging any farm that goes through that area. He's trying to go up and get vision by going up top of the bush but he luckily he pulled back firing another shot around here no force fire in the ground predicting their movement I like this uh, goo player he's predicting the movement doing a lot of damage with the uh, crescents another graphical glitch and two more small proteins gonna get killed it's a bit of a waste this uh, large this mother goo and this mother goo needs to get to high ground. There needs to be a defensive force to protect these mother goos. These crescents, since they're facing armor now, they're doing as much damage as they could, but still doing quite a bit. A nice pool of damage here. But now he's, he's continuing the force fire this area, which is actually now actually hurt him. He actually lost the mother goo because they, they weren't actually hitting the force. Complete misses. Another uh, offensive force here, but this human player is actually getting just picked apart by the crescents. However, the goo player has gone defensive for way too long. He's down to six mother goos. And this human player has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, well, eight harvesting up to nine refineries harvesting. Here a Lancer? Could just want to hurt him. Yeah, there's Lancers in this force. That's interesting. Lancers are more of the teleporting in to take out structures. This crescent is walking into its death.
Looks like we've got a refinery right here? Not here or here. Perhaps he wants this he wants this refinery to spot any mother fuels expanding down that way. Getting some nice damage on these units. I'm curious how much that splash damage does. Oh, he has no more destructors left. Looks like there goes another Mother Goo. This Goo player playing very good defense, but defense will not win a war. He's losing way too many Mother Goos. And this, he's just charging this uh, force of all his mother goos. Sure, I can take it out, but yeah, this game looks like it's already over. He's, he had mother goos going for a charge, and now he's starting to get a tier one force, which is actually like, why didn't he do that earlier? Some striders here, and that's a massive force. I would expect uh, maybe a teleporter to uh, for map mobility by now. And look, there's crescents at his base. These crescents just have no fear, and they are doing quite a bit of damage. There's a Strider Force here, probably he knows his force here. Striders are very good versus Gladys. So that force should be cleaned up quite relatively quickly. But the human player is at 200 out of 200. This is a... There is no Alpha, so that is a massive force he has. This Mother Goo almost got cleaned up. This human player needs to go out on the attack. He has a huge, just overwhelming force right now. But he's just being awarded in because the honestly, the goo player is being quite cost effective with his engagements to all these crescents, but still. Oh, looks like there are destructors out. Let's see what the splash damage upgrade does in their damage wise. The primary damage is the same. The AoE damage becomes 15. The radius becomes 50, so... It's actually not that strong. It's really not that strong. Fighter aircraft, the human player, is basically the same thing. Getting some Lancers out. Lancers will, should be able to instant snipe basically those, uh... Destructors. Yeah, the bounce upgrade is much better than the uh, splash damage upgrade by the looks of it. But these crescents, that's a massive amount of damage being put out on that army. Perhaps you should invest in the healing pool for the crescents. Seriously, this entire force is... this He wiped out so much with such little force. He does have Mondra aircraft, so he can't take out these Crescents. But overall, even though that was cost effective for the Goo player, he's way behind. Though this, granted, this area is now out of Catalyst. This area is running a bit low. He could reestablish that one. Two more crescents. Nice flash here, getting some more kills. Yeah, the human player needs to retest some of those refineries. This is not giving enemy income. He needs to replace both of those refineries. Perhaps put them over here, or here, or right outside of his base. 
So he's just significantly losing his economy, and the Goo player is trying to come back. He's starting, I think he has, his economy is basically the same to the human player right now. But he has much more map mobility on this such large map, and he's been very cost effective with all these crescents. So he hasn't lost as much, other than Mother Goose. But his current outstanding army is very small. Looks like this wave of small proteins run straight into siege. He's uh going to this bush, deploy them with striders and to start attacking. Or defend his uh base from this attacking force. That's a, let's see, yeah, Shriders would be an overall good choice. He does have a lot of light units, but that's basically what his Crescents are for, but he's down to two Crescents, so that option's not really feasible right now. These Tempests should probably get on the high ground, just to avoid fire. Railguns are up. Yeah, it looks like a uh, replaced by Railgun Weaponry. I don't really see why people like the railgun. Here's before it was 70 damage with rate of fire of one. Now it is. Oh wait, it does actually does splash damage targets, and uh within the path of the projectile, so it does have uh unit penetration. So it's best for him to get close up and then fire. But overall, that's. And also it's good for frontal engagements, because you don't have to sit and focus fire. Those are both good, but I'd still rather prefer having that see something else than the railgun. It does overall reduce the DPS, assuming you don't get splash damage. It turns the rate of fire from 1 to 5, so it's very slow firing. Uh, and it does uh, less damage actually per second before 70 at the rate of fire 1 so it's taking a huge DPS loss another crescent uh, away focus firing the ground right before getting uh, a couple more Gladys yeah I think the rail the standard uh, focusing laser will be a bit better than rail guns honestly Though it does allow him the starter step, but I think he would have killed them, killed this by now if it wasn't real guns. And remember, lanterns are siege weapons, so they are very expensive machinery. I think it's somewhere in the rounds of 500 credits. I know the avalanches are 500 credits. Yeah, I'd rather prefer avalanches over over real gun lancers. Avalanches does 150 damage per shot, and I think it also has a high rate of fire, and plus you can upgrade it to move and shoot. So probably a bit better in every single uh, way. And I hear people talking outside of my apartment. Just a bit distracting. Looks like he did take out something over here. Mother Goose move up. Small proteins are ready to morph. More radiance. I would disagree on radiance and not exactly frontline units, though they would get vision. Perhaps he just wants them to get vision for the uh, crescents to bombard an area. Massive damage. Look at that massive damage from the crescent artillery. And that last wave should finish off this majority of this army. 
That was just massive. Only one Gladys was left. Yes, the Goobler is engaging incredibly effectively. Using Radiance to spot and then Crescents to destroy. Perhaps you should invest to invis a stealthed Radiance. Just another idea. Perhaps to make him focus more and more dagger production. Just waste his economy on units he doesn't really want to build. Though he does have a factory building constant dagger production, so overall stealth wouldn't be a too big advantage, but can be nice. Yeah. He would have been this mother goo would have been dead so much faster if those were not railgun lancers. I mean, f six railgun lancers would instant snipe a core, basically. I mean, it took so long to kill that crescent artillery. Yeah, this human player is just real guns aren't just not cutting out for him. Sure, real guns may be. Very good versus commandos or drovers, but not versus uh, Crescent Artillery Mother Goo. Mother Goo is going to escape out there, it still has 200 health. Now they're going to focus on this Crescent. This uh, small protein could have turned into Striders or even drovers. This thing doesn't have any armor, so oh, it does have actually yeah, armor. A massive wave of tanks and more railgun lancers. That's a lot of AA. That's a bit of an overkill on AA. Chris is now have healing pools, so it's good they get finally got that. He could heal these uh, crescents up by targeting the ground right underneath them. Mother Goose trying to go in, but there's just too many tempests. He overcommit on. Them. He overbuilt on Tempest, period. Wait. Wasn't there a, Oh, the Mother Goo is... It's a Mother Goo graphical glitch. It was inside the, uh, a bush. And that's why this stuff went to blue. And there goes another Mother Goo. Wow, there's a massive force heading to the main base. There goes all that, uh, scout craft, but... He overbuilt on Tempest. There's no... A large amount of A... Um large amount of bombers and stuff, so it was really a way to build all those. He cleaned up this forest, but now there's a uh, uh, counter-attacking, well, a um, reinforcement force is coming in. Oh, I'm gonna destroy this force. It's nice to see a Mother Goo on the front line. This Mother Goo could sit up there if you were to realize it. Now there's actually the, the railgun lancers actually doing some good since they're since the, there are hitting multiple units. It looks like Vandal has surrendered since he, he lost too many uh, mother goos in the beginning, which really set him back. Though this is still bad, uh, not moving refineries there. Now honestly, you should just remove both of them. This one's not doing much income. But overall, this is a pretty good replay. I would highly discourage the use of. Uh, Railgun Lancers. They have, sure, they can hit multiple units, but they're not a frontline unit. They're way too expensive to be a frontline unit. And so, yeah. Well, this is uh, Lord A. John saying thank you for watching and signing off.